What's up everybody, this is Rad Tech Shoe and I'm bringing you part 13.5 of my Devil May Cry LP. So as the name implies, we will be playing a brief intermediate area between missions 13 and 14. And we have a couple things we need to do in here. First off, is turn right around, head back inside. We got a blue up fragment to get in here. First, kill the two blades. So this area is like the area at the very beginning of the game or in like the 7.5 video. You're just walking around or in this case swimming around but there's nothing, there's no time constraints, there's no demands, there's no objective. It's a free open area where you can take as long as you want, kill as many enemies as you want and there's no penalty to any rank because there is no rank for this area. So now that the blades are dead, head on up. We're going to go over to the captain's cabin. Interact with the corpse of the dead captain, and we begin the next secret mission. Alright, the objective here is very simple. We have to kill all eight of the blades. It's very simple. However, if you stand still, you're pretty much going to get destroyed in here. Stay moving, stay, keep moving, stay mobile. Uh, don't forget that Dante, even when aiming forward, he can strafe left or right. But I've noticed that Dante's lock-on is a little awkward at times. He has a hard time hitting enemies if they're swimming left or right. So it's best. I found it best just to shoot at enemies that are either stationary, swimming at me, or swimming away from me. But once you kill the first four blades in here, the fight becomes a lot easier and manageable. It, it's all downhill from there. And the green orbs are a welcome. They're always welcome. Now, one thing I don't like about the underwater combat... Well, actually, one thing I do like about it is that if a blade is shooting his claws at me, like right there, and I sh Dante shoots his needles at the same time, and uh, the needles from my gun and the claws will clash like right there and it will deflect the blades attacks and he'll miss all of them like they'll go wide left wide right they'll go all around me but they won't even come close to hitting me. other than that though I don't like this underwater combat I find it kind of dull and repetitive I think it's the weakest aspect of this game but that's a small small negative other than that, I like the combat of this game a lot. And I certainly like it more than Devil May Cry 2, but we'll get to that eventually. But for now, we're done here. So we're going to exit the boat. We got two more blades to deal with. feels good to crack my back. Alright, as soon as I kill this little guy, finally. Alright, now we can exit the boat. We got one more blue, out, blue orb fragment we need to get. Yeah, I can't talk today. Alright, head around the rock, jump into the pool on the other side. And in the water is the blue orb fragment. Alright, that's pretty much it for this area. We're going to go ahead, exit the cavern, and then we're going to go up the stairs, kill some marionettes, head through the doors, and that'll be the end of this area, and we'll start mission 14. through the doors and that's it all right and I will see you all in the next video this is Red Tech Shoe later guys